sorry, bouncing around here. We're looking at the solvent question. So again, um, it says explain it here, but I think you get the point. You should already have your title written down. You should already write what we're doing. And we're going to watch the video and take notes on these. So I hopefully got you the sheet of paper that you can see um, here. But it's asking us to graph the points on the coordinate plane. Um, what do these picture? What picture do you make when you connect the points in order? So remember, a point goes x comma y, and x means that we're traveling left or right, and then the y means we're traveling up or down. So you always, like reading a book, you always enter an ordered pair, and you work through it left to right. You always start here, and I'd write down this. That's known as the origin. That. O is not a zero to indicate zero. It's there to indicate the origin of the graph. The origin of the graph is when the x and the y axis cross each other. Where it crosses is the origin. That does happen to be the origin is always zero, zero. Okay, that's just the point. It starts here, it's here, it's here. So we need to graph all these. So we go in the x direction three, then we go in the y direction three. So we go over 3 in the x direction. Again, this is the x direction, and this is the y. We go over 3 and then up 3, and we plot a point. Okay, this point is done. Now we can go to 0, 0. So it's telling us, again, we start at the origin. That is 0, 0. So I'm going to connect those points. Then we can, so that one's done. Now we can go negative 4, negative 4. So we go back 4 and then down 4. And we plot that point. Then they want us to go negative 9, 0. So we got to go negative 9. Sorry. So that's negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9. And we go up 0. So I don't get to go anywhere up or down. I just go 0. Then we go negative 4, but then up 4 this time. We go back to 0, 0, which is this point in the origin, the middle of the two x and y axis. And then we go 3, negative 3. So we go 3 and then down 3. And we draw a point there. And then last, we do 3, 3. So that's where we started back up here, and we draw a line. So what did we draw? So that's the first question. What did we make? It looks like a fish. Okay. And that shark's eating a fish that looks like a pretty huge fish. Okay. Um, name a pair of points that are the same distance from the x axis. So, what this is the y axis is vertical and this is the x. So, name some points like this point and this point are the same away from each other. So, that's the point negative four and four. And then this is the point down here negative four and negative four. These points are the same distance away from this x-axis line. It's four above it, and it's four above it. They're the same distance away. Can you name any other points of the same distance away? So you could name this point here and this point here. Those are the same distance away from each other. That's the point 3, 3 and the point 3, negative 3. You could have named... Any of these points that were on the x-axis? Well, no, I would say we can't name those. Okay, so we're just going to stick with these ones as being the same distance away from the x-axis.